Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers. And when I was using Photoshop, every time I opened the gradients, I liked that they had this preset. And here's a screenshot I pulled from Photoshop. And they had quite a few presets here. And Affinity Photo has almost nothing. In fact, I'll delete this because I just added this. So Affinity Photo has a few. They have the black and white. They have the white to see through. And then they have the black to see through. And I don't even know what the third one. Let's see. White to transparent, black to transparent, white to black, and black to white. And that's the only ones that come with Affinity Photo. And I would like to have more gradients. So I'm going to show you how to get the same gradients you have in Photoshop and how to create your own after that. So let's get started. So here I have a picture I screenshot of the Photoshop gradients when I opened it up. And I'm going to create these. Now I could, I only screenshot it while it was set to copper here. So you can actually see the colors. So you can do that with each one, but I'm just going to put, probably play right up here after the fact. But first I'm going to create this copper one. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the shapes and just pull out a rectangle. It really does not matter what shape you have. Let me just make a rectangle. And now I am going to create this copper gradient first because it's easier for me because I actually have the colors down here. From this is remember, this is not an affinity photo tab, it is a Photoshop group. Let's create the copper thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is select this rectangle and go to the gradient tool, which is right here, and we'll make a line right across, just like that. And now we're going to open this up. And what we need, according to this copper one, we need four different colors. So I'm just going to right away insert and insert. So now I have four colors. And I'll actually move them almost to where the other ones were. So I'm doing that. And now I'll pick the first color. And I'll select it. And I'll just go down here and choose whatever color Photoshop used. And then I hit here to apply it. And then I'll pick the next color. And I'll go here and I'll pick this one and I will apply it. And then I'll go here. Once again, we're just going to repeat the process with all four colors, apply, and then the last one. And let's get this and we will apply it. So now I have this copper, which is exactly what they have. I could adjust it if I need to. Maybe this one went a little further here and this one and maybe the line here came out a little bit so you can adjust it to wherever you think it works and I think that looks pretty good so now when you go to your swatches palette you might originally start off with this but if you do the drop down menu and you choose gradients here's all your gradients so in order to get this swatch to there I have to select this and then right here where it says add current fill to palette, I click it and there it is. And I'm going to rename that and I'm going to call it copper. So anytime in the future, I can use it. Now you can also do something else It won't grow that much, but if you hit this little drop down menu and appearance, you could say large, which is not very large, but you can also add if you want, if, if you want to know the names, uh, appearance you can also show as list so there's your copper right there so that, now we have that for the future now let's try another one so I am going to change this back to just any color uh, let's leave it white it doesn't matter so now I'm going to once again I'm going to go to gradient fill and do this and open this up and let's pick another one now we don't have this to help us. I didn't want to screen capture them all, but you can do it from here. Let's say this orange, yellow, orange you want to do. So all you need to do is pick the first one, do this, and choose an orange and say OK. And then next one, oops, we got an insert. So here's an inserted color. We do that. And we are going to choose this yellow and OK. And then the next one, 
let's choose back to the orange and click OK. And then now we have right here, and we can adjust the colors, but I think it looks right. So now we have this orange, yellow, orange, which looks really good. And all we have to do now, as long as we have this selected, you had to go back to the pick tool, this selected, you just do add current fill to palette, and we can rename it orange, yellow, orange, yellow. And there's the palette. So now let's just say we, we took another one, right? And we went to here. Now remember, if you did this, it's exactly like the palette down there. You can do this. You can change how much you want of each one. And it works out really well. And then if you decide you want copper, you just do that. And now it's copper. So now you have a way of getting gradients that Photoshop has. So if you do a whole thing, if you ch if you copy each one of these and then add your own, so you have all the gradients that Photoshop has. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye.